It's next day. I uh, tried parting off the, the piece yesterday, but uh, it was making too much noise. So I did it today uh, at work at a slightly bigger machine. Uh, but uh, there's not uh, very good uh, tools over there. The, uh, uh, the parting tools, I mean. Uh, and I'm gonna reverse the piece and uh, clock it in uh, the four jaw. The jaws are. Uh, uh, as I left them, so it should be okay. I'm gonna open them up just a bit. I've got this uh, stop here. I uh, don't know what's it called, but I uh, call it a spider. Uh, got a strip of uh, thin copper. to protect the workpiece it's just uh, long enough yep. uh, I'm forgetting something I need to, uh, this size uh, use a micrometer It's uh, thirteen point forty three millimeters. I'll write it down. Test indicator uh, on the bore I made yesterday. Uh, I wanted to. Uh, Diagonally, I think it doesn't show on the camera. can't measure at the edge because uh, uh, I didn't bore all the way through now let 
Shame, where we at? Twenty. And twenty again. So that one is uh, uh, close on this one. Mm -hmm. Where's my other key? Mm. Is it in focus? Hope so. Doesn't uh, look like it on a display. So this one is at ten, and now it's not making contact. I use two keys at the same time. Six. Oh, this is almost uh, 26. I guess I got the uh, wrong jaws. Twenty. Oh, oh. kind of close. Almost close enough.
This is 21 millimeters. Now I have to uh, make a bore which uh, fits the spring. But I won't uh, do that uh, with my camera close. So yesterday I tested how much uh, the spring could compress and how much room there was left. And I uh, fitted these uh, aluminum strips uh, between the stick and the spring. And uh, three millimeters was uh, too much, and two was uh, real close. So I think I'll uh, try it with one and a half at uh, first, and uh, see how that goes. And, uh, first uh, thing I'll do is uh, make this uh, piece nice uh, two centimeters. That's uh, okay. Now for uh, 20 millimeters, I need a uh, oh, stupid focus. Uh, this diameter is a little over uh, 29, uh, 29, 10 or something like that, and I need uh, uh, with a 2002. Uh, width I need uh, 13.09 depth of uh, bore with uh, 20 mm, uh, 29 millimeters uh, inner diameter. Yes, maybe you noticed before I did, but uh, I uh, made an uh, error in my calculation. I uh, it should be uh, 12.09. What I said, and I was uh, boring, and I found out while I was at uh, about 25 millimeters inner diameter, and uh, then I corrected. But I, there is a, uh, a edge inside, and, uh, which uh, can hold the spring, but I don't know if if it can take uh, the load uh, of spring because uh, that's. Uh, there's quite some tension on the spring while uh, it's compressed, so I hope it works out. And if it doesn't, uh, I'll have to make another ring. So uh, let's hope it does. So here's the ring. You can see there's uh, really a very tiny edge in here. I don't know if it's enough. And this wire broke. It uh, is connected to the to the center of the z-axis, uh, the twist potentiometer, uh, which is a bad thing, but uh, they're held by hot glue, so maybe even a good thing to uh, put some heat shrink uh, tubing over it. All the other connections are just uh, held by a tiny bit of hot glue too, so that's not uh, very sturdy. But then again, uh, they, uh, there won't be a lot of movement inside. What I'm contemplating how I should get this uh, ring uh, on top of the spring, uh, beneath the, the stick. If I desolder the, uh, this uh, potentiometer, then the, the board fits through the, the center. But I think I'll get stuck on this part. Uh, Maybe the top half of these two uh, can get through the hole, but the bottom part won't. So I have to uh, think about my options. Uh, one is cutting a slot in here, uh, squeeze the wires through and uh, secure the, the part with a, uh, with a screw. So that's one option. Uh, it, it was the first... Uh, plan I had, but then I uh, noticed uh, the board fitting through here. I also could uh, uh, get these wires, desolder them and uh, change, uh, uh, put a connector in between. Uh, this probably won't be the last time I'm uh, disassembling the joystick, so uh, that could be an option. 
So there's also this part, which is the uh, lock nut for the, the height adjustment. And I think this shiny part might be aluminum. Feels a bit uh, cold to the touch. But there might be a, a plastic end cap in here. I can uh, remove without too much damage. It's a bit hard to do this. Come on, my face. I'm thinking about replacing this part for a uh, for a nicer one. So a bit of damage uh, to the plastic might not uh, be a problem. And I'm kind of uh, curious how they uh, made this. So. bit more force so it's a little plastic cap about two millimeters. Uh, it fits. Uh, there's a little rim on it, which uh, is countersunk, and there's a screw underneath. It's a Phillips head. Use the file to uh, remove uh, a bit of the edge, and hopefully I can uh, get the the parts uh, through like this. So uh, let's see. This one is too wide as expected, and that's why I'm gonna desolder it. 
This is yellow, green, brown. Bit of hot glue. The ring has to sit uh, like this. Now I hope I didn't weaken uh, the little edge on the inside too much by uh, filing away the two parts. Right. Let's go back for a moment. Can do that afterwards. I got the stick. I just want to know if I can uh, move the stick all the way.
And there are two springs supposed to go in here. Still a tiny bit of movement left. I think it's okay. This is uh, quite a difference compared to uh, previous state of this stick and now I will uh, uh, reassemble it with the first solder the wires back on Order should be yellow, green, brown.
Hopefully another, uh, another wires are uh, secured a bit better. Now, there's uh, this part. I don't know if uh, there's a wrong way to uh, connect these two plates. Uh, I don't know if it's possible, I mean, but uh, there's this uh, edge on one side. This one is it uh, symmetrical. The, the bottom half, there's this uh, edge which uh, goes into the left side. And here's a uh, piece which is uh, part of the twist lock. To the twist lock. Didn't remember that. There's a metal pin, two springs on a sliding part. This one goes in here. But now I'm not sure what the springs are pushing against. Or should it be pulling? Right, there's a opening in the, in the stick and a little pin uh, slides in. Now oh, I never use this, but uh, you never know. I've always uh, thought that the, there was a bit too much slack on uh, the twist lock. So if you want to fix it, you might want to put uh, uh, just a bigger pin on there. Or maybe fix this hole so the, there's not uh, that much play in there. Yeah, I'm just uh, curious what's uh, underneath here, so we'll screw this part. There's a retaining clip for the, for the head switch. Wait for the LED in the, in the head switch. You can see four screws in the switch.
There are four 90 degree switches. Which are uh, mounted in a circle. And they uh, make contact with the, uh, the stick, which is uh, clamped uh, on this plate here. There's a 3mm LED, a flattened LED, underneath uh, the other switch. And that's good to know. Close this back up and then continue uh, uh, reassembling the stick. Second screw in the twist lock. Now there's this bunch of cable running uh, through the shaft, but uh, this rod goes through there. And I don't know if there's a specific way to uh, get the cables uh, in there. Should they all go on one side, or uh, or not? That's really the question. Put them all on the rear side now. It's the twist lock. Also uh, fixes the part of the stick on its shaft. This will go here. I don't want to disconnect any more cables. Just glued on and soldered, of course, but uh, I don't know how, uh, how well they are secured. The 
next was a uh, uh, clear metal screw. If I remember correctly, 